Hi folks, um, welcome to EDU 380. Uh, this video is meant to familiarize you with the um, ISTE standards for teachers. Now this ISTE standard for, for teachers um, is the 11th Maine Common Core teaching standard. So the, the state of Maine adopted the INTAS standards 1 through 10 and then the 11th standard is this particular, are all five of these standards that are, that are pulled into one 11th standard. This course is aligned with these standards. These are the standards that, that you will be held to. These are the standards that you will investigate and which you will work towards. I want to go over these and help you think about what in this course these standards will, will pertain to. So there are five of them. The first one is facilitate and inspire student learning and creativity. Um, teachers use their knowledge of subject matter, matter, teaching and learning, and technology to facilitate experiences that advance student learning, creativity, and innovation in both face-to-face -face and virtual environments. And for each standard, there are four substandards. So here we have promote, support, and model creative and innovative thinking and inventiveness. Um, you'll be creating models of various assignments throughout this course that, that this standard will, will address. The second one about in, in exploring real-world problems and issues will be addressed in the unit of study that you create. Um, promoting student reflection using collaborative tools. One of the um, requirements is that you have a collaborative tool for students to work together um, on. And then model collaborative uh, knowledge construction by engaging and learning with students, colleagues, and others. Um, by taking this course, um, you're fulfilling this particular requirement. The second standard is a design and develop digital age learning experiences and assessments. I'm not going to read that whole anchor standard. I'm just going to skip over here to the, um, the four uh, components. So design or adapt relative learning experiences that incorporate digital tools and resources. Again, you're going to create a unit of study that has a digital story or a podcast, a web quest, um, and others. Okay, so those, those requirements for technology tools within your unit of study will speak to this particular um, standard. Develop technology and rich learning environments that enable all students to pursue their individual curiosities. Again, you're going to be offering some choice here um, in the technology and rich learning environments you create. Um, so that will um, work towards this standard. Customize and personalize learning activities to address students' diverse learning styles, working strategies, and abilities using digital tools and resources. So somehow you're going to use digital tools to differentiate instruction. So uh, really customizing the instruction for, for particular students. Then provide students with multiple and varied formative and summative assessments aligned with content and technology standards and use resulting data to inform learning and teaching. So you're going to have to be thinking about using formative and summative assessments um, that are aligned with these content standards and technology standards, but you also have to think about digital platforms on which you can um, administer formative and summative assessment as well. And then using resulting data to inform your learning and teaching, because this is a methods course, um, and if you're not already a teacher, it would be difficult to do that, but in a, in a, in a classroom, you, you, know, you take this data and then your, your assessments, and that helps you shape your course. And then model digital age work in learning. Again, demonstrate fluency in technology systems. Um, you're going to do that by modeling for your students the website that you're going to create or a course management system um, that shows that you have some fluency and understanding how to, how to use these effectively with students and, um, students and parents. You're going to be able to collaborate with students, peers, and parents, and community members using digital tools. Again, your course management site will, um, will, will work for this. Um, communicate relevant information and ideas. Again, your course management site. And then model and facilitate effective use of current and emerging digital tools um, to locate, analyze, evaluate, um, and use resources to support research and learning. And this, is, this is going to be part of your self-investment. Um, in terms of using the digital tools for professional development, for using it in the classroom. Um, fourth one is promote and model digital citizenship. Um, you're going to teach your, your students um, ethical ways of using digital information and copyright, so you're going to be familiar with those things um, and incorporate that somehow into your unit plan. 
um, address the diverse needs of all learners by using learner-centered strategies. This connects back to the differentiation piece as well. So they have appropriate access um, to digital tools. Uh, promote and model digital etiquette and responsible social interactions. This includes social media. Um, develop and model cultural understanding and global awareness by engaging with colleagues and students of other cultures using digital age communication and collaboration tools. So somehow connecting your students to others um, from different cultures and backgrounds. Um, and then the engage in professional growth and leadership. Um, all four of these, I'm not going to read each one, but all four of these speak to using digital tools for professional development. In other words, engaging in a virtual learning communities, um, exhibiting leadership by sharing your vision with others in digital communities and virtual communities, um, looking at the current research and professional practice and uh, emerging digital tools and resources and how you can use those and then you know contributing then again to the entire teaching profession um, by being up to date on these things and sharing them with your school and community. So these are the net standards for teachers. These are the standards that this course is built on. Um, the work that you do in this course will will help you to meet all of these standards. Um, that's it for now. Um, and I'll be back with some more.